It is not always required to set a schedule for your Power BI report to refresh it. You can create a button on the report and your end users can refresh data when they need. Hello everyone, Shab is here with a new Power BI tutorial and today I will teach you how you can create a button on your Power BI report and allow your users to refresh the data just by one simple click. Don't miss this video, watch it up to the end, like and share it. Appreciate if you can subscribe to the channel to get the notification for the new upcoming videos. You can also follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter and Instagram and read Power BI articles on my blog. Stay tuned. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create a report to monitor and trigger refreshes using Power Automate within Power BI. I am going to describe everything step by step. So, follow me up to the end. Consider that you have a Power BI report and you want to refresh it on demand. It means, whenever your users need, they can refresh the report by pressing a button. Let's have a look at this example here. When we publish this report on Power BI service, the developers have access to the settings for the scheduling or refresh data on demand. But if the end users want to refresh this data, they cannot. So what I am doing here is opening the Power BI file in Power BI desktop on my local machine. As you can see, I have different tables used in this report. One of them is last refresh table, which shows the date and time for the last time this report gets refreshed. I've already used it on a card visual on my report to show the last refresh date and time to users. If you don't know how to extract the last refresh date and time, you can watch its tutorial on the channel. And also, you can click on the link appears on top of this video here for you. What we are going to do here is adding a button to this Power BI report to trigger the refresh for our dataset. So, as a developer, you don't need to schedule or refresh the report, and report users can refresh it just by clicking on the button. For this purpose, I use Power Automate Visual. If you are using the new versions of Power BI, you can find it within the Visualizations pane. Otherwise, you can get it from Microsoft Power BI Visuals Store. The next thing I'm going to do is clicking on the Power Automate Visual. I just make it smaller and put it in the proper area of my canvas. Then, on top right of the visual, you can see three dots. I click on it and then choose Edit. Now, in the new window, we can create a new flow. So, I press on New and then Instant Cloud Flow. The first thing we are going to do when the new window opens up is to press on new step and then search for dataset. And there, click on refresh a dataset in Power BI. Then we should fill the two fields. First, we choose our workspace and then the dataset we are using. Hit save button and then save and apply from top right. And that's it. And we can go back to the report. Now you can see the Power Automate change to a button that can be used to refresh our Power BI report. Just let me format it to fit our report. And then publish it to Power BI service. Wait for some seconds to complete the publish process. Let's have a look at the report we publish on Power BI service. And now you can see exactly the same report and the refresh button, which we can use to update our data. Let's test it and see how it works. So I hit refresh. You can see after a few seconds, the button text shows triggered. It means the data refresh completed. And 
If I refresh the whole report from browser, you can see the last refresh date and time updated. Just remember, there isn't any difference between scheduling a refresh for a dataset or do it on demand. You have only a limited number of refresh per day. If you have a look at this Microsoft Power BI documentation, you can see you can only refresh your data up to 8 times a day if your license is on Pro and 48 times on the premium licenses. Hope you enjoyed this video and use it to level up your Power BI reports. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel to get the notification for the new upcoming videos. Contact me on LinkedIn, Twitter and Instagram and read Power BI articles on my blog. Have a good day all Power BI lovers.